In this video clip, we learn how to use transformations in regression analysis. The idea is that a nonlinear model can often be transformed to a linear form. Then, slopes can be estimated by the least squares method if transformed. We may transform x or y or both to get a better fit or to deal with violations of regression assumptions. Transformations can be based on theory, logic, or scatter plots. We consider a square root transformation where we apply square root over the x variable. Of course, we require x to be non-negative. Suppose the original relationship is here or here, then after a square root transformation, we can obtain linear relationship. Consider the following example. After a training program, students are asked about the average hours per week they spend on study. Data of a sample of 20 students is listed in the right table. Is there a relationship between the scores and the hours of study. Okay, so here to save some time, we directly apply square root transformation over hours. In practice, we need to check the scatter plot between score and hours to justify our transformation. We use SQRD hours. SQRT hours. Okay, then we can run a regression. We can go with data, data analysis, or PSTAT regression. Let's use data, data analysis. We go to regression. Here, click OK. Input y range, we use score, x range, square root hours. We have labels. Um, we want to see residuals and residual plots. Okay, we click OK. Then here we obtain the regression result we see the p-value for the square root hour is 1.07369 times 10 to the power of negative 18, very close to zero. Here we have square root hours residual plot. We have reduces as a function of square root of hours. We still see a little bit of curve, but uh, roughly say this is um, random. So the square root transformation works well for this uh, example.